lifelikeyoumeanit.com coming to you live to give you another coping with anxiety tip. So if you haven't been following me along, please go, go on over to my IGTV or if you're watching this on Facebook, then go to my Facebook page and check out everything that I have to offer on there. I've been going live every day, nearly, for the last week and a half, two weeks now, giving you a different tip every single day for coping with anxiety. Because obviously we are in unprecedented times and it's really vital that we keep our mental health and our emotional well-being in check during this time, no matter how coronavirus is affecting you. So our tip, my tip today, is about keeping a positive outlook. Now, I want to be really, really clear here, okay? It is absolutely vital that you understand that it is okay to feel however you feel, right? So this is not about making you feel guilty or making you feel like you shouldn't be feeling sad or, or you know, anxious or whatever. You have the right to feel however you feel in this time. What I would like is to be able to give you tips and strategies that you can do to be able to shift your mindset when you are feeling something negative and you wish to shift that to something positive. And the reason why this is important is because energy flows where attention goes. And that means that when you are thinking about something that is negative, you know, perhaps projecting yourself into the future and thinking about the what ifs, what could this happen, what if, what if that happens, right? When we do that, if we focus a lot of our time on that, then we are actually attracting more of the same. Whatever we are focusing on is what we are going to attract to ourselves. Now, again, that doesn't mean that you can't feel some anxiety or some sadness or even some loss, right? Feelings of grief for losing what it was that you thought was supposed to be happening at this time, whether that was personally or professionally. The loss of your regular routine, right? It is so important to be able to feel a sense of pride and a sense of honor with however it is that you are feeling while on top of that, allowing yourself to say, okay, I've had that thought, I've had that experience, it's time to shift it because what I would like to be attracting to me is the positive, okay? And so then you go about actually thinking about the positive. So I've given you loads of tips over the last couple of weeks to allow you to do that, right? To think about gratitude, for example, think about all the things, people and experiences that you are grateful for. But again, anything that you do that just allows you to shift into thinking about what it is that you do want, right? So acknowledge the fact that you are thinking about the what ifs and thinking about all the stuff that you are stressing about, perhaps money, time, you know, being isolated and alone, things like that. We can't help but think of those things. But rather than dwelling on those things, allow yourself to have those thoughts, allow yourself to have those feelings, acknowledge them, respect them, and then respectfully allow them to move on and make a conscious choice to start focusing on something that you do want. So for example, if you are feeling like you are really isolated, you are feeling quite alone, then rather than focusing on the fact that you feel that way, start to allow yourself to focus on past experiences when you felt like you were surrounded by a coven of people that had the same same beliefs and ideals as you, right? So think about what that feels like and really allow yourself to feel that again. Start making a plan of action for how can you feel that way now in this present, right? Can you use technology like a lot of people are doing to try to be able to reach out to some of your friends and your family members? Can you schedule in a regular time to actually meet up online with people that you are comfortable with? Is there a support group on Facebook or one of your other social media sites that's already doing something like this? where you can actually jump in, introduce yourself, maybe go live in there or something and just be part of a conversation, right? So start focusing on the fact that you want 
to build relationships at this time, rather than focusing on how you feel alone during this time, right? So it's a subtle shift, but that shift is all positive and starts to bring you more of what it is that you are thinking about. That's going to happen whether you're thinking about the fact that you don't have anybody around you and you're lonely, or if you're thinking about how you would like to develop further relationships with people, right? So that little shift makes all the difference. The energy is going to come to you regardless, but which energy do you want to attract? So hello to everybody that joined. Thank you so much. Again, go on over to my IGTV or if you're on Facebook or YouTube, then go and check out all of my other videos that I have in this coping with anxiety series that I am doing. And I'll be back tomorrow to give you the next tip. Bless.